Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. It is Friday, September 21st. I'm Alicia Smith and a man's in custody after being accused of carjacking two people at a gym in Troy. Police arrested 18 year old Marquel Williams from Detroit. Police say that he carjacked and robbed two people at gunpoint while they were leaving the Planet Fitness on John R. on September 12th. We're told the police found Williams driving the victim's car in Oak Park the next day and then arrested him. Well, today, family and friends will be paying their respects to longtime artistic director and founder of the Michigan Opera Theater. David DiChiara's funeral will be held today at 1 p.m. after a public viewing at the Detroit Opera House. He died on Tuesday after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 83 years old. A wild ride in Orion Township ended with an SUV crashing into a home. This happened Wednesday night around 11.45 p.m. Fortunately, no one inside that home was hurt. Police say that the man behind the wheel not only survived that wreck, but he escaped through the sunroof and ran off. Police found him hiding in a bush nearby, wearing only his boxer shorts. Police believe he was highly intoxicated. Kelly. All right, we are waiting on a cold front out ahead of it. It's warm, it's muggy, it's going to be windy throughout the afternoon with temperature topping off in the 80s. Behind the front, we're saying hello to fall. It's going to be much cooler tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the 50s. Keep in mind, any storms this afternoon have the potential to be strong, possibly severe. The main threats being heavy rain and damaging winds. We'll be watching it closely. Mid 60s for highs tomorrow, a high of 70 with sunshine on Sunday. Well, the state of Michigan will soon allow medical marijuana users to apply for registration cards online. In the past, users had to mail in their applications and some had to wait 15 days or more to get their registry identification cards. Early next month, the state will be releasing instructions for medical marijuana users on how to apply online. Those are your headlines. Don't forget you can get news anytime on WXYZ.com and our 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great Friday. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.